tough story to watch. We're joined now by Major James Harry with the Prattville Police Department. The numbers are alarming. What did the statistics show? Yes, yeah, so since 20, in 2018, from if you compare 2018 to 2022, the numbers doubled. Uh, the shooting uh, deaths from road rage went from around 70 to 140. Injuries doubled. Uh, it, it's, it's really, you know, concerning, you know, the, the way the trends are going statistically. You don't know who has a weapon. You don't. You don't. And and I saw a recent survey where one in three drivers said that they have some type of weapon in the vehicle, whether it be a gun, knife, pepper spray. So you just don't know what the people have in their vehicle. What steps are law enforcement taking to prevent road rage incidents? Sure. So we try to educate the public as best we can. Um, you know, and you don't have to be right. You know, and, and at what cost do you want to prove your point? You know, because it, it can go anywhere from you get in a crash to you have a ticket and uh, even worse, somebody could die from it. So it's, uh, it's really about education and especially among youth. Uh, surveys have also shown where 19, can people 19 years and younger are uh, I think four times more likely to be involved in an aggressive driving or road rage type incident. You're so right. People want to be right. They, right. Want, they want to say, hey, you're doing the wrong thing on the road. Hey, yes. you're driving slow in the left lane. You need to get over in the right lane. So they <clears> honk <throat> their horn. They're flashing their lights. Right. But you say avoid that behavior. Don't honk Absolutely. Horn. Just go about your business. Absolutely. And, and, and there's going to be people out, people out there that do that anyway, but don't respond. Don't engage. Don't be a part of somebody else's bad day, you know, because it can get really bad for you. You know, don't honk your horn back at them. Don't you know, make any rude gestures toward them. Um, you know, anything to respond to that can just escalate the situation. If you find yourself on that side where someone is making rude gestures or they're honking their horn or, or being aggressive <clears throat> with you, what should you do? What should you not do? Sure. So just move out of the way. You know, again, it's at the end of the day, what does it matter? You know, you're, you're trying to get from where you start to your destination as safely as possible. Obey the traffic laws. You know, if somebody else is having a bad day, driving aggressively, just move over, let them go, and you don't have to be a part of that. If you see someone being aggressive out <clears throat> there, should you call police? Absolutely, call absolutely. Dial 911, um, stay on the phone with that operator, give a vehicle description, tag number if possible, as safely as possible. Um, if you are the victim of road rage, dial 911, stay on the phone with that operator. Um, don't go home, you know, if you feel like you're being followed, just stay on the road, try not to get boxed in on a dead end street, always have that avenue of escape, and just, you know, as a general rule, always be aware of your surroundings. Most of us, I think, have found ourselves frustrated behind the wheel with another driver. If you feel yourself starting to get that rage inside, <clears throat> what's your advice? Sure, so just take a second, calm down, even pull over, and just step out and get a nice, fresh breath of air, uh, give yourself a moment to, you know, kind of calm down and just, you know, don't let that moment of, you know, aggravation or frustration turn into years or a lifetime of regret. Yeah, going back to the, you know, folks, uh, you know, driving slow in the left lane or doing something like that. Give them some grace too, because you don't know what's going through Absolutely. their mind, what kind of day they've had. Absolutely, you don't know what's going on in somebody else's life. Absolutely. If folks uh, want some additional help, do you have any advice about where they should go? Uh, yes, yeah, so if they want to come down to the police department, engage, we, we love to talk to people. We'd much rather educate on the front end than to have somebody, you know, wind up in a bad situation where we have to respond because somebody's been hurt, injured, killed, you know, because of a road rage incident. Major Harry, thank you so much for Absolutely. joining us. We appreciate you. your time. Thank Good you for having me.